Hello and uh, welcome to this very interesting session on um, successfully running a profitable food business from home. Okay, so uh, we have a special guest here. Uh, we will learn more about how you can run a successful home kitchen and uh, still be very, very profitable. Okay, great. Let us get started. Uh, Hello and uh, happy to welcome um, uh, Samhita Bakre from Mumbai, uh, running a very successful and profitable cloud kitchen. Uh, so it will be great to know more about how she's doing it, uh, background and uh, how you guys can benefit from uh, and learn from her. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Samhita. Uh, great to see you here and uh, uh, how are you doing? Yeah, we are very well, uh, doing very well. And thank you so much, sir, to you for inviting me here. Very, very excited and uh, happy that uh, I could come here and speak about my venture. Great, uh, Samita. So, Samita, before we talk about your brand, uh, Dhimi Anj, okay, give me a quick uh, uh, brief about yourself, your background and uh, how did you get into the food business? Okay. Uh, so, uh, the till 2021, if you ask me, my connection with food was only this much that I used to love eating food. There was no other side of the food business or the other side of the food story I had ever experienced. But yes, because I'm a foodie myself, I always thought that I will do something and I would like to do something related to food. But my background, if you ask me, goes to advertising. I come from a 25 years experience in advertising, media planning to be precise. So uh, after completing 25 years is when I decided to take a plunge and get into this field okay of course uh you are one of the prime reasons why i'm here but yes that's Great. how it happened thank you so much so how did the uh, uh dhimi aunt's idea come about um whenever i was thinking about food uh, earlier also when i was actively not involved in any food business I was always fascinated by uh, the variety that Indian regional cuisine that off it offers. Uh, because otherwise, broadly, there are only two parts, you know, North Indian food and South Indian food. Uh, within that also, there are so many varieties. But broadly, this is what people understand. But the reality is that each and every state of India and actually each and every region within the state also has some specialities. So Dhimi Arch, as the name suggests, it is all about slow cooking and uh, we are not doing anything that can be termed as fast food. Uh, we are primarily giving a lot of uh, immense importance to local and regional ingredients. Uh, seasonal ingredients is something that we are making very good use of. Uh, so something that really takes a lot of time. The recipes which are probably forgotten or long lost recipes you can call those are the ones which we are trying to revive all this we're trying to do while we are doing some popular dishes also but they are not that easily available in the market and uh, we are seeing that slowly and steadily people have come out and they've started enjoying this kind of a cuisine okay, okay. that's Finally, nice to know uh, samita about uh, dhimi aunt and uh, see that's one critical factor that uh, you get your niche right you know, she is focused on uh, some amazing regional food uh, that is not so commonly available, but people love, you know, something that they have been having. And also they want to experience what uh, other regions have to offer. Uh, so the great thought has gone into it, uh, Samita. Uh, that's nice to Thank know. You. So um, can you give us a peep into your uh, kitchen? Home oh, kitchen. yes. Definitely. Yes, yes. In fact, uh, we have a small video. Can I play that? Please go ahead. Sure. Are you able to see the screen? Yeah. Welcome to the kitchen of Dhimi Aaj. We have a summer special series happening in our kitchen currently. And look at these. Do you know what it is? These are tender cashews. You get them only for a couple of months in summer. Currently, we are doing gravy using these cashews. This usar is very, very famous in our summer menu. And that's what is getting packed here. 
we have another very interesting thing coming up in our summer special our sherbats these totapuri raw mangoes are here for some sherbats only we are making panna using it here it is look at the color nice no we are using two types of packaging bottles and these pouches for short distance we use bottles and for long distance we use these pouches this is panna then we have kokum sharbat then we also have soft sharbat pan sharbat and we have a salted variety sabke all in our summer special sharbats interesting no not just interesting samita it's a uh, very welcoming and uh, enticing i would say uh fact yes. that i haven't had dinner makes it all the more delicious so uh, uh, <laughs> right great you know uh, the way you even done the packaging you know with simple uh, uh, branding that you're doing has a nice uh, feel and look to it tell me a little more about how did you plan your packaging stuff actually uh, yeah so we are constantly on the lookout for something that will look interesting and of course it is it has to be affordable because at the end of the day it only increases the price of the item that we are selling but it uh, most importantly it should look nice because we are in the niche category packaging is a very very important aspect and when it reaches our customers it should go in a proper condition uh, so that is what we have kept in mind and uh, i would like to say that we have very great uh, batch mates or colleagues i will call them in our uh, mumbai group or even uh, from all india kb group they are always telling us you know what are the different things if you have any query we put up on the group and we get the answer so my packaging all these solutions have come from the group itself yeah i i remember you one of the first batch early batch members and uh, active and always uh, interested and learning and uh, implementing so quickly That's can i can you tell me shortly how did the course uh, uh, the cloud kitchen course that we operate help you yeah yeah like you mentioned um, i was from the very first batch you're right sir and i just happened to see your ad on facebook and i decided to attend the webinar and in that uh, one hour webinar itself i was very clear that i want to do this course and i was uh, more than i will say uh, satisfied with whatever we learned in that very first course and you were there uh, you always delivered more than what you promised so we learned all aspects right from business planning to how menu engineering should happen how market research should happen each and every aspect was given due importance and for a newcomer or a newbie like me in this industry it was a big 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 um, eye opener or mind opener you can say so it has really helped me a lot and the uh, mumbai group is a very vibrant group a lot of uh, very proactive yes. positive members and uh, i right. a lot of networking happening amongst all of you always always so you it's it's like you know just put up a query on the group and there will be answer coming immediately and the best part is everybody wants to learn and share and learn and uh, we have variety of people there are people who are operating from home to people who are having good established cafes and there are people who are yet to start so each and every person has different query different doubts in mind but we end up learning from uh, sharing information great great to know that see uh, i think you have consciously made a call you know that you will operate on pre orders where you can have your time and operate when you want and uh, uh, not gone on swiggy zomato uh, but still getting a lot of orders through your network so how do you market to yourself how do you market yourself so, yeah so the uh, as of now for me the biggest platforms are instagram and uh, facebook uh, i do get orders from these platforms but i would still say that for me uh, local whatsapp groups is has helped me a lot also so they are really big uh in i think each part of the country i'm sure but in navi mumbai where we are based um, we deliver actually across mumbai and thane so i have become members to the various whatsapp groups and that's where the business takes place to a lot. lot of networking and business takes place there great so uh, just getting in a little bit into your operations i could see one or two helpers that you have uh, uh, that you right. uh, uh, assist you in uh, the whole process um and uh, how do you deliver food 
so um, we have, uh, like I said, I have one full-time and one part-time helper. And then whenever there is a need or there is a big order or party order or something, that's when I get some more uh, helping hands on the basis of like on contract basis. Uh, when it comes to delivery, there also I have a person uh, who works with me part-time. And since it's all pre-orders, I inform him in advance and that's how he makes himself available. Uh, for really a long distance ones uh, where, you know, it takes a lot of time for him to go and come, it's made, it's not possible. Then we have to depend on the delivery partners like WeFast or Porter or uh, Swiggy Genie. So we make use of those. Great. And um, I, I, I keep seeing some of uh, very uh, 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 excitingly and interestingly made reels and posts on your uh, Facebook and Insta. I'm sure that has been also driving uh, your orders apart from the delicious food that you serve. So uh, maybe we would love to have a look at a couple of your uh, uh, reels and posts uh, to see uh, the different exciting food that you create from different parts of the country. Yes, I will, will show you that. I'll just quickly explain for a second that I will take you through a few, through few examples on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, it has helped. Uh, to explain to people what the theme of the kitchen is you know that it is in the uh, lesser known uh, hidden gems kind of a you know uh, dishes and uh, our emphasis on seasonal ingredients also comes out from there and people have understood that this is what uh, is the miyaj all about and so they're waiting every time oh what's new coming up you know that way so i'll show you a couple of when examples you, you the video also give me a thought behind why you why you did that or why you started that you know uh, people yeah. would love to know the mind behind uh, um, okay uh, the thought okay. behind so, putting it together sure sure so i'll give you one example i'll play that video first i'll give you one example actually um, all our portions the way we have designed our portion sizes are for two people uh, we wanted to try uh, with some little less cost option. And for the first time, we tried one pot meals. And for one pot meals, we gave a portion which was for a single person. That was the first time we did. So the idea was to launch a one pot meal series because we always have some theme whenever we launch something. So one pot meal was a theme that time. And we had planned everything. The biggest part actually we had forgotten at that point in time was that was the day, that was the week, which was a Valentine week. So we did not launch it for Valentine, honestly, but it happened to be a Valentine week. So whole world was talking about how, what Valentine offered this and that. We had our one pot meal launch when we always have a meal for two people. In fact, for Valentine week, we were doing a meal for single portion you know so, so it was a little share? bit of an <laughs> irony yeah it was a bit of an irony but we did that so uh, we, from the same glass eat from the same pot yes 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 so that's the twist we added and that's how we created this reel so just take a look with yeah, the thought please. so if you are a single person then also it's okay because we have a single portion if you are in love or if you are with your partner then you can eat from the same bowl you know that's how the thought was so just take a look at the reel Valentine uh, week read. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there you there is... Share. You want to share? The... Yeah. And just uh, so I was talking about this. Uh... So colorful all your post look. Yeah. I was talking about these uh, uh, seasonal ingredients and uh, local ingredient story. Right. Yeah. So we had this uh, winter pickle series. We did all these pickles, uh, green chili and uh, there is this red chili then this is amla pickle and all that uh, haldi pickle fresh haldi then there is carrot pickle 
all this we did so this is how the bottles were so that this became a big hit also so apart from full meals we also keep doing uh, these condiments and stuff like that uh, like we have uh, you know for summers we have pickles as well as murabbas and sharbats coming up so our meals will happen but apart from that these things also happen great any other video that you want us to see yes yes i will okay this is you, one video you started which... doing the party orders you told me you know yeah. that's right that's right so uh, we did this video uh, to tell people that we are accepting party orders so i'll just show that to you Gopati meal. Uh, we did, yeah, with all the condiments. The entire. Uh, this is how on kill uh, banana leaf. So I'll play this video. This is interesting one. yeah so on 15th august we did this tricolor rice so it's not one rice these are actually three different rice from three different regions of india wow okay uh, so yeah so we had uh, green rice which was a haryana style chat aloo chutney pulao then there was a bengali style paneer rice which was white and then there was thakali sadam which was tomato rice from south tamil nadu actually so so these three you can see uh, three types of rice in one box is what we had given and this reel we created when we did the orders so we keep coming up with some of the other theme you know that's uh, we have to sit okay. with the calendar actually in hand and, uh, and then plan things yes yes wait yes. a lot of then, thought has gone into uh, planning uh, starting from your menu to you know uh, the innovativeness comes not just in the menu even the way you're presenting it the way you're promoting it uh, uh, great to see uh, samita it's it's a very satisfying moment for us too when uh, Uh, right <laughs> whatever we share uh, somebody really picks it up well and also implements it and uh, takes it to the next level right uh, so great to see this so um, can i um, stop share now so uh, uh, great to see this and uh, i am sure with such uh, delicious food that you are serving you must be getting some great feedback uh, what was the most amazing feedback that you got Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We have got uh, most of the times we have we have got very very nice and encouraging feedback from uh, people. Uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, like a lot of people have uh, not tasted lots of these dishes, so you know they say that oh we never knew that something like this can be created. So they are first amused with uh, you know these kind of things exist. and for them the thing they said that we wanted something new for our guests and that's exactly when you came and you gave this to us and all that then i tell them that actually this is new for you but this is actually one of the oldest dishes you know which which is made here which is made there so all these old dishes now are being looked 
out as new dishes because they are not known to many. So they enjoy it. They really enjoy doing it. And they start asking how it is made and all that. Of course, we, <laughs> we can't tell them the recipe, but that's, yeah. So they really want to try more and more such dishes. So one amazing lesson here that, uh, you know, with a very less investment, you can start from home. As long as you can learn well, put a lot of thought and heart into it and create something exotic and exciting, um, you know, not need be on Swiggy and Zomato also, only with pre-orders and party orders, you can have a, a successful model. Okay. Quickly, Samita, what's your advice to people? A lot of homemakers have a lot of magic in their hands, but are very scared to take the plunge to do it as a profession or a business. Uh, so what's your advice to them? Uh, so I feel that, you know, the uh, two things. One is that uh, I'm sure that most of these women are making good food. They're cooking well and all that. But definitely there has to be some um, business angle that one needs to bring into picture that how it can be made into a uh, profitable business because most of the people I have seen that they just make it but they're they do not have any clue whether they're actually what kind of expenditure is going behind it and they're actually making money or not uh, they have to also keep in mind that the labor cost and all even if they are cooking themselves they have to budget for these things you cannot say that okay I will do everything free of cost and then that's how I will cost it. So be very clear of how much of effort is going, how much of raw material cost is going. And only once you have that understanding, put a price to whatever you're making, the right price to whatever you're making. There has to be consistency in the taste. You cannot say that, okay, today the item has become come out well. And next time I'm not sure whether it's going to be that much that good because consistency is something that will give you repeat people repeat customers and they will expect the taste and service in the same fashion every time and that's how they will you will also gain confidence and they will also gain confidence in you so that is the second thing third thing is uh, what i have realized is that it's not only for home chefs it's for everybody i think in the food industry i coming from different industry this is uh, something i have learned new uh, that you are responsible for everything. Delay in the delivery, you are responsible. Packaging fat gaya, you are responsible. Uh, taste achi nahi hui, you are responsible. Anything and everything, you are responsible and you have to take that onus. You have to take that responsibility and ens ensure that less mistakes happen. At least you don't repeat the mistakes and learn from your mistakes. Uh, because mistakes are bound to happen, but you have to just keep learning and graduating is what I will say. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of hard work, but there is at the end of the day, a big, big, big pleasure when you receive that one message with, which comes with a very good encouraging feedback. So it's, it's fun is what I will say. Great, great, great. See, um, so friends, I am also leaving the link of uh, Dini Aunt's Insta uh, handle uh, in the, descript in the uh, description below. So, Without fail, do follow Dimi Anch to uh, see some exciting, uh, enticing videos on food and innovation. But if you want to be really happy and saturated, you have to go and order from Dimi Anch. Uh, uh, that uh, details are also will be given below. So make sure you order food from her. If you are in Mumbai, for sure. But a lot of her food can even be delivered pan India. Um, I'm sure you're getting orders from different parts of the country from yes. overall members and others um, as they experience your food. Yeah, our pickles and murabbas, which will be coming up now, uh, are going out of Mumbai also. We have delivered to Ahmedabad, we have delivered to Nasik, we have delivered right up to Calcutta. Okay. You know, so uh, yeah, so these, there are certain things which can travel. Great. So uh, moving away from the corporate life uh, to starting your own business, uh, uh, how did you feel in the journey? And also, uh, quickly, uh, uh, how has your family supported you all along? Uh, you know, it, it's very critical for it to happen. Yeah, so um, I was in advertising uh, after spending so many years in advertising. I have started this. So that's a big, big, big change. And uh, like I mentioned that uh, in the job, though I was uh, heading the team and everything, uh, you, you know that at certain point in time, you can just put your hands up and say, 
ki okay now my this is my responsibility now you take care of it and like i mentioned earlier you you are responsible for everything whatever good happens you are responsible whatever bad happens you are the only one who is responsible so that is a big thing, big change then there are people who are looking up to you uh, like whatever little small staff i have they are you know looking up to me and it's my duty to train them to make sure that they get their the salary everything on time and uh, if they are not there i have to stand there and make sure that the show is running well so all that uh, is a big 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 change for me uh, coming to family it's a huge support that i have got from the family there are times where i have to personally go and deliver things because the delivery boy doesn't turn up Uh, so in that my family supports me my daughter in fact uh, she is the one who did the entire template and everything for my social uh, posts and everything that's what she is the one who is responsible for managing right from day one she was with me she was my social media manager uh, <laughs> so yeah so that's a big big support by uh, you know entire family even if required they come and help me in the kitchen if the situation is because at times it's a war like situation on the days when you have you know large order yeah so everybody Great. so uh, for those of you who are looking to see even if you have an idea if you have the passion um, i would always recommend that you learn it in a structured way such that uh, uh, as samita was saying you know you will do some mistakes but you don't need to repeat the mistakes that have been time tested and done by many people in the business okay uh, so you can avoid all those pitfalls that most people get into make sure that you get the whole concept good and have a nice business plan in place and uh, even without being on a swiggy zomato samita here with dimi aunt is a great example as to how you can run a business at the pace that you want at the way that you want just the pre orders but make sure that you give an amazing experience and delicious food with a lot of innovation and fantastic promotion Okay, that's Samita Bakre for you. Thank you so much, Samita, for joining Thank us. And those you. of you who want to join our community of fantastic members and exciting people and helpful people like Samita, uh, there's a link below. Do click on that, and you will be with me for a two-hour workshop to learn more. Okay, uh, Samita, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and it's been a pleasure watching you do things and uh, uh, grow. Uh, all the very best to you, and hope. Uh, we get to experience dimi aunt soon and uh, see dimi aunt in different parts of the country thank you so thank much thank you thank you thank you so much thank you so much for everything sir yeah all the very best to you samita thank you